Hi, I'm Eric Paul, the Chemistry Guru, and you are watching H2 Chem X, making H2 Chemistry simpler, one video at a time. Hi, in this video, we will compare the factors affecting hydrogen bond between molecules. Now, for hydrogen bond, we have two factors affecting the strength of the hydrogen bond. The first one is the extensiveness of the hydrogen bond. The second one is the polarity of the hydrogen bond. Now, extensiveness of the hydrogen bond refers to the average number of hydrogen bond each molecule can form with a neighbor. So, if a, mo a particular molecule can form more hydrogen bonds with more neighbors, so on average, what you need to do is you need to pump in more energy to break more hydrogen bonds per molecule. Now, the second factor affecting the strength of the hydrogen bond is the polarity of the bond. Now, we have three different types of bonds that qualifies for hydrogen bond, which is our HF bond, HO bond, and HN bond. Now, because HF bond is more polar than HO bond, which is in turn more polar than HN bond, so therefore, if you have a molecule that contains uh, HF bond, in general, each hydrogen bond will be stronger as compared to another molecule which contains OH bond and another molecule which contains uh, NH bond. Now again, it's important for us to take note of these two factors, which one is the one that's more important. Extensiveness is the more important factor that affects hydrogen bond. So when we are comparing two molecules that can form hydrogen bond, the molecule that can form more extensive hydrogen bond will have overall stronger hydrogen bond. When extensiveness is the same, then you look at the polarity of the bond, meaning what type of bonds is being present in the two molecules. And then we do comparison from that. If you have enjoyed this video, Please share this with your friends. To learn more about H2 Chemistry, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. If you want to know more about my H2 Chemistry classes at Nishan, please visit my website. Thank you for watching H2 Chem Hacks. I hope I've made H2 Chemistry simple for you. I'll see you next time.